that first story today, the story from the Acts of the Apostles, is quite a striking depiction of the early Christian community after Jesus' death, isn't it? Here they are sharing everything in common, getting together every day to pray and break bread together. It's not at all the picture of community we see in today's gospel story. Here's these disciples of Jesus huddled in fear. And then Thomas not with them and not believing. And that must have been a long week for him um, before he does, does see Jesus. And even then, a week later, did you notice that the doors are still locked? So these disciples are still huddled in fear, even after that visit from Jesus, which comes after a couple visits to, um, to select disciples. The door is still locked. What part of your heart is still locked? Is there any part that's locked? Is it that part of your heart that would hope? That part that would forgive? That part of your heart that would trust God completely? What part of your heart is locked to the risen Jesus? Although Jesus, Jesus is there, right? And Jesus um, just appeared in this locked room both times. And apparently not in a scary way. Although he wasn't apparently immediately discernible either. So here's Jesus in that locked part of our hearts. But do we recognize him? Do we let him do his thing and roam free in our hearts? Jesus has breathed peace into us, just like those first disciples. Do we take that air, Jesus' spirit, in and be set free? John the 23rd, who was uh, canonized today, Pope John the 23rd, he um, said in, in calling the Second Vatican Council, he said, he said, let's throw open the windows of the church. So he recognized that the church's windows were closed, maybe even locked. And then John Paul II, who we also canonized today, um, he just walked right out the door and realize, well, yeah, there's a world out there that we don't have to stay here. You know, he just walked out the door and visited the ends of the earth, um, let go of fear and embraced the whole world. And that's our call, too, to throw open the windows of our souls, to unlock the doors of our hearts so that we can Receive the breath of God, that gust of fresh air, so that we can um, extend Christ's mercy to others, so that we can live in hope, so that faith has room to grow in us. Thomas did come to belief, he went out to the world. There's stories even um, that he went to um, places as far away as India, bringing Christianity there and other places. What about us? Where does God call us to go with the message of Easter, this message of mercy, of hope, and of life? Today, let's just open at least a little bit more those doors in our hearts. Let the air come in, breathe through us, and send us forth in hope.